a 15-round fight between Benny Briscoe of Philadelphia and Rodrigo Valdez of Colombia. And there you see the action in Monaco. Keith Jackson is in Monaco to bring you live this WBC middleweight championship fight. Let's go there now, Keith Jackson. Benny Briscoe of Philadelphia. Via satellite in color from Monte Carlo on ABC's Wide World of Sports. Rodrigo Valdez of Colombia, who is handled by Joe Clancy, the number three ranked fighter in the World Boxing Council rankings. Benny Briscoe is the second rank. This is the second meeting between these two, with Valdez having taken a 12 round decision in a fight last September in New Caledonia. Carlos Mon and Joe Clancy, Emil Griffiths, of course many time champion was tutored by Gil Clancy. Gil Clancy right now I guess probably has the most prolific stable of young boxers anywhere around. Harry Gibbs is the referee. He comes over from Great Britain. He's worked many title fights including some with Carlos Monzon, with Muhammad Ali, the Brian London fight I recall him from. He is a veteran. He is a ship's container foreman and a former professional fighter himself. Ray Clark who is the general secretary of the British Boxing Board is also here. The judges for the fight are Domenico Car Carabellesi of Italy and Monsieur Tadirac of France. And so the fight begins with Rodrigo Valdez wearing the white trunks and Benny Briscoe, who is a banger, wearing the red. Now, the information that I'm given by Gil Clancy is that Valdez is a very, very slow starter. Gil says sometimes it feels like he wants to get in the ring and poke him just to wake him up. But if he gets past three or four rounds, he becomes a tiger. And he did take a 12-round decision over Briscoe when they fought down in New Caledonia last September. But Benny Briscoe, a well-traveled fighter from Philadelphia, is a fighter. He cannot win the fight if he has to back up. And he punches as he walks in. Benny Briscoe is coming into this bout tonight with his first real opportunity to claim the middleweight championship. He lost a very close decision to Carlos Monzon in Buenos Aires, a fight that many felt, and many who traveled with him felt he could have won. A good left hook that time by Valdez. So Benny Briscoe is already showing you his typical tactic in a fight. He just simply walks in and bangs away. The picture is coming to you via satellite live from Monte Carlo. We're in the Statue du or the soccer stadium here in Monte Carlo, and we understand that we're having some transmission troubles. A hard right hand rock. Briscoe back on his heels. He's hurt. He's on the rope. Rodrigo Valdez is ripping him. Briscoe trying to weather the storm. Harry Gibbs, the referee, standing close watching. Briscoe blinking. Rock back on his heels, and he was hurt by a hard right hand thrown by Valdez. But Valdez has not been able to penetrate since the hard right hand. So Briscoe now comes off the rope, still looks foggy. There's the problem of a man who when he starts walking in and banging away, if he does get caught, he really gets nailed. And Benny Briscoe was nailed clean and hard. But looks like he may weather the storm. We have 50 seconds to go in the first round of the fight. Briscoe's eyes look clear now, and he seems settled again. But he really took a shot. So apparently, Gil Clancy did a lot of talking to Valdez and brought him out triggered and ready in the first round. He's very active in this first round. It's a 10-point must scoring system. The count will continue. The bell will not ring. In effect, if a man should be dropped at the close of the round, the bell will not ring until the man has either regained his posture or else has been counted out. And in World Boxing Council competition, the three knockdown rule does not apply. So Rodrigo Valdez scores heavily in the first round. And Benny Briscoe still wobbly as he goes back to the corner. We're in Monaco, as we've indicated. One of the most beautiful places in the world, and as... Princess Grace, and of course Prince Reedy himself. A great place for boxing and for a motor race.
and the, start into the next round. Back to Keith. All right, Jackie, thank you very much. Here we go now to the second round. Valdez scoring heavily in that opening round. This goal came out, looks clear, he looks solid now, and we'll see what happens. He's got to get this thing going because you in their fight down in New Caledonia. Valdez finished very strong to take the decision. Briscoe wanted to get him early, but he's got him on the ropes. Most of it is being caught on Valdez gloves. Valdez coming into the fight at 157 and a half. Briscoe came in at 156 and a half. Briscoe trying to crowd the youngster from Columbia. He's not exactly a youngster. He's 28 years of age. Benny a couple of years older. He snaps that right. Valdez snaps the right hand with a good deal of authority. That blow in which he rocked Briscoe in the first round didn't travel a great distance. He just popped it in and caught him clean with it. And here again, he just missed with a short, sharp right. the right again. Fifteen rounds for the World Boxing Council Middleweight Championship. I think if Briscoe doesn't get some more movement, we're not going to travel fifteen. We're two minutes into the second round of this world middleweight title fight, sanctioned by the World Boxing Council and the British Boxing Board. And again, Briscoe sagging back on the ropes may have been stung by the right hand. Briscoe was rocked hard in the first round and had to weather a storm. Here in the second round, he has fared somewhat better. However, the edge in the second round would appear to belong to Valdez because Valdez is continuing to score with that combinations inside, particularly the left, and then one short, sharp right that landed flush. There's another good right hand. Another one. Another one. Ten seconds to go in the second round. End of round two. When hair looks and feels healthy, it's hard. Round number three. With Rodrigo Valdez of Colombia, now living in New York, wearing the white trunks and Benny Briscoe of Philadelphia in the red trunks, and Valdez has dominated the fight so far, rocking Briscoe in the first round and then stunning him a couple of times in the second round, but not as severely as he did in the opening round. Now, you see Briscoe continuing to walk in. But so far, the young man from Columbia has handled that, the aggressive attitude of Mr. Briscoe very well. The third man in the ring is Harry Gibbs of Great Britain. Right hand just slid over the shoulder of Briscoe and missed. Valdez in at one pound heavier than Briscoe. The right hand by Benny just slid off. Valdez has won the first two rounds of this fight. Valdez wearing the white trunks. Briscoe in the red, or the dark. Or if you prefer, Denny is the one with no hair. The fight fairly well attended in this 
mecca of resorts here in Monte Carlo tonight. All the expensive seats were sold. It's not exactly a picnic in the country either because they're going for 107 bucks a piece. 500 francs. All the expensive seats were sold, but I guess that tells you something about this particular part of the world. Now Briscoe started to bang away at the body. Best round of the fight so far for Benny. Good left-right combination by Valdez. Got some blood dripping out of Briscoe's nose. Briscoe banging away at the body. Valdez in the white trunks. Inside 20 seconds to go in round three. Right hand by Briscoe found its target. Another one. By far, Briscoe. I've been shaving 25 years, so here's a little advice. To get a good, clean electric shave, you need a really dry beard. What's that? And to get a really dry beard, you got a wet. Coming up on round number four of the World Boxing Council Middleweight Title Fight, live via satellite from Monte Carlo, Keith Jackson along with Jackie Stewart sitting here on a soft, balmy spring evening. The Grand Prix of Monaco runs tomorrow, and you'll see that on ABC's Wide World of Sports, June 8th. Of course, the Indianapolis 500 runs tomorrow, too, and you'll see that on ABC exclusively tomorrow night, 8.30 Eastern Time. Jackie Stewart will be joining her American colleagues with a comment and a hard, rocking combination by Valdez. In the first minute of round number four, <laughs> They're really banging. The blood off the left side of Valdez's face. I don't know if it's from him or if it's from Benny. They're both oozing a little bit from that hard exchange. Looks like it might be a cut all around the corner of Valdez's left eye. Valdez wearing the white trunks. Harry Gibbs is the referee. This sanctioned by the World Boxing Council and the British Boxing Board. Couple of good left and a combination inside with Valdez as Briscoe bangs away on the body. And we're halfway through round four. the uppercut and it does appear the cut is over the left eye of Valdez good hard right hand by Valdez and another one and another one both men are bleeding With Briscoe's style, obviously he has to absorb punishment because he just keeps coming, just keeps coming. And the secret is, the minute you see Benny start to back up, you know that he's in some trouble. As we come up with 20 seconds to go now, it's Inside 10 seconds. Only at Sears. Henri Pescarolo among the celebrities at ringside Jackie during yes. the fight. Yes, uh, Pescarolo, one of the BRM drivers for the Monaco Grand Prix that takes place tomorrow. A keen boxing fan. Beltoise is here as well as the round gets underway. A lot of racing drivers come to try and relax the night before the event. Round number five. Valdez in the white trunks. Rodrigo is from Colombia, was a fisherman, started his boxing career there, came to the United States when he was about 
18 years of age. Matter of fact, he couldn't read and write when he came to this country, but since coming here, he has been attending school, private tutoring, and obviously a great many people think he has a real opportunity, to, if not tonight, then in a short period of time, to win the World Middleweight Championship. Oh, he hammered Frisco inside and then took it to the head. And Frisco made it back into the ropes. Cut over the left eye of Valdez, a hard right from inside. Rocks Briscoe back on his heel. Valdez almost dropped him in the first round with a straight right hand. That one just missed. He's quick with it. And he's not timid about it. He'll use it as a lead. He is able to land it with a good deal of authority. These are middleweights. 157 and a half for Valdez, 156 and a half for Briscoe. And he's out of Philadelphia. Record of 49 and 9 coming into the fight. Briscoe's only performance of 1974. A knockout of 21 Dean in Paris. Knocked him out in five rounds. Briscoe backs into the ropes. It's been a very easy evening so far for the referee Gibbs. He's had nothing to do but watch. The right hand again rocks Briscoe as Valdez took it inside and worked the combination. Valdez's only fight was a win over Ernie Burns in March down in Cartagena, Colombia, which is his home area. Right hand miss. Twenty seconds to go in round five. Again. The cut over the left eye, the corner of the left eye, starting to bleed as we come to the end of round number five. Now, for your double-edged razor. Round number six, Valdez and White Briscoe with a clean-shaven head. Both men have been oozing some blood. A little cut over the left eye of Valdez, Briscoe, bleeding from the nose, and it's been a war, a furious pace, and it's the kind of thing that we all expected, though Valdez came out and opened in much sharper fashion than we anticipated that he would. But he almost decked Briscoe in the first round. Now as we go into round number six, he has the edge in the fight. But many Briscoe's offensive attitude has always been just simply to walk in and bang away, and he's continuing to do it here in this fight. At the end of this round, we will be giving all of our stations their station break. That's the end of this round. As you watch live, in color, via satellite from Monte Carlo on ABC's Wide World of Sports. Coming up later... Some comments and predictions about the Indianapolis 500, which you'll see tomorrow on ABC and over most of these stations at 8.30 Eastern Time. Briscoe turns away. Flaming low blow. Harry Gibbs, a referee, doesn't buy it. He was hit low, but did not appear to be hit very hard. He got just nailed with a right hand by Valdez right there. Now the cut is bleeding again over the left eye of Valdez. The Indianapolis area, of course, will not see the coverage of the Indianapolis 500 tomorrow. Briscoe just keeps coming. You hammer him and he shakes you off and just keeps coming. And that can get discouraging. Has for a lot of people. He's won 49, he's lost nine.
goodly amount of blood now coming from that cut at the corner of the left eye of Valdez. Valdez in white trunks. Pace slows some here in the sixth round. The first five were just furious. And now on the ropes, Briscoe scores with a good short left hook. Snap Valdez head back. Vinny is getting to that eye. Looks like he's opened it some more. Coming up on the end of round six, we'll be back with more of ABC's Wide World of Sports after this message from our local station. Doug, watch where your key when you're fooling around with title fight for the World Boxing Council title and also sanctioned by the British Boxing Board. It's brought on because Carlos Monzon of Argentina retired and maintained his posture of retirement through the 90-day waiting period and so the World Boxing Council lifted the middleweight championship and here you have the second and third ranked fighters according to the WBC rankings squared off in Monte Carlo for the title. There is a cut that has grown more pronounced. The left eye, corner of the left eye of Rodrigo Valdez, who is a native Colombian. Eddie Briscoe, of course, is from Philadelphia. He's wearing the Star of David on his red trunks. He wears it on his robe. He has not been converted to the Jewish faith as yet, but obviously he's pondering it. Best shot of the fight. He went right into that eye that's cut and opened it up again. Another right hand by Briscoe. Another one. Not a great deal of swelling over the left eye of Valdez, but some of the salve may have gotten in it and obscured the vision. Briscoe has hammered him three times with the right hand. That one missed. Briscoe's best round of the fight so far. Round number seven. growing stronger at a rocky start Valdez beat him in 12 rounds a decision in New Caledonia last September Briscoe coming 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 right hand high on the side of the head not a whole lot of swelling in the left eye yet beginning to puff some of Valdez Briscoe has been, oh, a hard left hook by Valdez. And that starts Benny's nose dripping again. The right hand by Valdez just missed. Left to the body, the right bounces off the shoulder. That right hand was blocked. The second right hand rocks Briscoe back into the ropes. And really, for the first time, Briscoe backs up. Left hand was blocked, the right scores. The right scores again by Valdez. Well, they figured it'd be a night for bombers when these two got together, and that's exactly what it is. Let's go! Literally still out as Valdez nailed him. 
with a clean right, and he is lifted onto the shoulder. Of his colleague, Emil Griffith, comes into the ring to cheer him because they're stable mates. And now Rodrigo Valdez, 28-year-old from Colombia, now living in New York, can say, I am the World Boxing Council middleweight champion. There is a substantial number of Colombians here to see the fight, and some of them are in the ring. So, just that sudden, the right hand of Rodrigo Valdez dropped Benny Briscoe, and let's take a look at the knockout in slow motion. As you see, Valdez has been shoved around, and then suddenly, the punch didn't travel more than a foot, and bang, down went Bernie Bisco. And the moment he was hit with it, absolutely the moment the blow struck, he was gone. Because you could see the eyes blaze, the knees buckle, and he dropped. The following left hand didn't apparently do a whole lot of damage. And Benny is still standing in the corner, still shaking his head, trying to get himself a raise. But it's a delighted Rodrigo Valdez, who is being mobbed by the contingent from his corner in the center of the ring. So Rodrigo Valdez knocks out Benny Briscoe in the seventh round to claim the World Boxing Council middleweight title. And we'll be right back.